Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We will share the most popular 10 oil change mistakes people make. Stay with us. If you make one of those, you can actually lock up your engine and cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Guys, if you open your oil cap and you see something like that, if you do not fix it on time, it will eat your engine. And the part that you need costs only a few dollars. It's supposed to be replaced quite often, but most people don't even know about that. Make sure you stay until the end. We'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys doing their own oil changes. It could be any vehicle, Porsche, BMW, Mercedes, American guys, Dodge, Chrysler, doesn't matter what it is, Asian vehicles. We will explain the top 10 mistakes people make when changing oil that can actually result into damaging your engine, actually locking up your engine and needing the engine replaced. Stay with us, we will explain what we are talking about. Uh, we guys, okay, we'll cover the most common mistakes we see here based on our history here at the garage and another thing guys uh, let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and why we guys do all that because our mission here at the shop guys is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video guys check out our youtube channels we have more than 14,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so let's go ahead and start on it now so one thing guys okay we'll be demonstrating on this porsche cayenne but it doesn't matter what vehicle it is practically it will work for all now uh one thing guys will be some people change the oil when the engine is hot or cold what's the advantages when it's hot it leaks out faster it drains better when it's cold you need to leave it uh practically open for a longer time it may not drain as efficiently as well when it's hot you can severely burn yourself because engine you know, oil could be super hot another thing the exhaust could be hot so it can burn you too so you need to be careful guys now the number one mistake that we see the oil pork being too tight you need to use torque specs to tighten that oil pork oil drain pork so this is guys the oil drain pot now be careful always use gloves eye protection it can get on your skin it can be hot it can burn you it can sprain your eyes always use eye protection as well always use the correct torque specs for that oil drain pot then we need to inspect some other things about that drain pot we'll talk about that in just a minute so make sure guys you stand till the end okay it's coming out now perfect it's gonna come out fast as well so we will let it drain all the way now in order guys to drain the oil correctly you can see our drain pork is located on the driver's side and if you don't know that okay if you jack the car up usually you jack it on one side so we can get underneath it okay we have it on the on the driver's side that will mean that on the left side of the oil pan it's tilted this way now we'll still have oil so what we need to do we need, or, need to uh, lift it on the passenger side okay to make that correct or in our case okay we can lower it Okay, so it will level itself and that way it can drain. Always use jack stand because if the jack fails, guys, okay, if the jack fails, once see one o-ring fails, okay, you don't have a jack stand, practically it will be smashed under the vehicle. So we're going to lower the car and I want to show you how much more oil we're going to drain. The mistake number two, guys. Okay, check it out now. It's draining quite a bit more, guys. Okay, you see? Because now it's level, it's perfect where it's supposed to be. So we will let it drain all the way. Two mistakes so far, overturning the drain pork and not draining the oil correctly. Mistake number three guys, okay, you can see that washer now on the drain pork. Often you have a washer or a O-ring in some cars uh, and that one needs to be replaced every time. Also, you need to wipe underneath really good, okay, to make sure that everything's clean and it's going to sit correctly. If it doesn't sit correctly, okay, it can drip oil and eventually that can cause a mess. Okay, so make sure you put a new washer there as well. So guys, it's always important to use torque specs when tightening the, uh, the oil drain pocket. Inspect for oil leaks, coolant leaks, anything like that underneath the vehicle because that will be your time to do inspection. Inspect bushings, inspect CV axles, all that stuff because, okay, you never know what's gonna surprise you sometimes. So, once you use the torque wrench, you're going to listen for that click. Once you hear a click from the torque wrench, you need to stop immediately. Now, the torque specs will be different for every vehicle, so you will need to find yours, but you can easily Google that and find it. Listen. Okay, that's it. Right there. Perfect. 
Next you need to locate your oil filter. Now here it's recommended to have the, uh, the right type of wrench. If you don't, you can damage it, okay? Uh, now that's the oil filter. It's gonna leak oil, so be prepared to make a mess, guys. Now you need to use the correct type of oil filter. This is a cartridge where you replace only the inside. Another thing about those guys, okay, will be the fact that uh, sometimes you need to replace the housing too, depending okay depending on uh, how bad it is okay how old it is and all that stuff this one is quite okay quite stuck there we will explain common mistakes people make when replacing the oil filter as well perfect be prepared it's gonna leak okay perfect we're getting there the leak is about to happen okay and we emptied everything there, perfect. So, wearing eye protection always helps. You saw that, guys. You see how the filter plop? Okay, that sprayed everywhere. It could have been in our eyes as well. Use guys only, I'll recommend really good quality filters. All original, Machle is the one that provides filters for BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, it's a German one. They're good, really good quality, but never save money on an oil filter, guys. Probably you're gonna save four or five dollars the most and you risk uh, messing your engine up uh, Here you always need to replace sometimes you have only one uh, O-ring that you need to replace Sometimes on different ones like we did on a Dodge uh, Challenger not too long ago I'll change you have three different rings that you need to replace so you gotta make sure and when you install it Make sure you put it in the correct guys canal where it's supposed to now one time we used uh, we, we bought a used vehicle and they used a cheap really cheap oil filter as a result guys what happened uh, the filter fell apart and it plugged up it plugged up a hole in the cylinder head that prevented oil flowing to a camshaft bearing and as a result okay the car got toasted the, the cylinder head was toasted camshafts from there the little particles went in the main bearings the uh, the uh, also the, the piston bearings guys okay connecting rod bearings and practically okay the engine was done it wasn't even savable mistake another mistake guys here that o-ring you need to apply oil to it so it can tighten uniformly okay and it's not going to put pressure on the uh, uh, pressure on the rubber seal that can actually even break if it's too dry make sure it goes where it's supposed to okay it might need to take a little bit of a push if you're replacing the cartridges uh, that's what we're doing now, all we have to do, okay, inspect, you don't have a no ring, anything like that, inspect everything's clean, go ahead and get it tight. Sometimes on these cars will be the time to inspect if you have all oil coolers, uh, O-rings, they can develop leaks as well guys, we've seen that happen too. So let's go ahead and get it tight. Now, uh, 25 Newton meters, another mistake. People over tighten those that can break the housing. It can start leaking oil, you can lose the oil, lock up the engine, guys. So always use torque wrench as well. Another mistake, guys. Before you actually let the car on the ground, make sure you tighten the oil drain port and the oil filter. If you didn't, we've seen that happen where from vibrations they'll get loose, you're down the road, all of a sudden the oil leak out, you lock up your engine. Next guys, you gotta make sure that you use oil that's approved actually, okay, for your car. If you have oil that's the wrong type, okay, let's get ours, I want to show you. It's, it can actually damage your engine. The oil guys, okay, you need to check the specification. For instance, ours, okay, works right here on Porsche A4 standard. You can check in your manual if the oil meets the specification. Now, whether you use 5W or 40, 0 w or 40, it really depends now or 535W20 on climate and all that stuff, so the menu will tell you more about that. Now, go ahead and open the cap here, guys, okay? If you notice that you have a sludge built up on the oil, oil cap, like this one, we have special video about that, how to fix it, guys. If you don't fix it on time, that will destroy your engine, guys. This is known as PCV valve. The PCV valve is right here, practically what it does. When the engine runs, it will have blow-by gas. That blow by gas will go to the crankcase, the lower portion of the engine, and it will have pressure in the engine. That pressure needs to come out. 
but it's mixed with oil vapors. So the oil vapors will be separated, the oil go, will go back to the oil pan and the, the oil, uh, the air practically will go back to the intake manifold and burn through the engine. If it malfunctions, it's very likely that you see that, guys. Now, sometimes your PCV valve may be perfectly fine, but quite often it needs to be replaced every 60 to 80,000 miles, you need to check your manual. They're not expensive, and I'll put a link in the description of the video below the symptoms of bad PCV valve. Check it out, guys. Now, sometimes uh, the system may be perfectly fine, but if you drive the car only short distance, let's say you started five minutes every day in town, for a long time, that can build a lot of moisture in the oil. That moisture will look like this one. So you need to drive it on the highway for at least 30 minutes for the oil to warm up all the way. And as a result, guys, once it warms up, it's going to evaporate that moisture and everything will be clean. So we start adding oil. Another mistake that people make is oil capacity. You guys gotta make sure what your oil capacity is. On that Porsche Cayenne, it's a huge engine. It's nine liters, that's 9.2 quarts. Now, if you put too much oil on some cars, you may even have a label here that will say if you overfill it, you will damage catalytic converters, but you can actually destroy your engine too. If you don't put enough, you can destroy the engine too. So it needs to be in a certain capacity, guys. Now, some newer vehicles like the BMWs here that we have, they do not have a dipstick, okay? You have to electronically check the level. When you have a dipstick, it's easier, but we will explain about another common mistake people make as well. In our case, guys, it's 9 liter capacity, so we need to open the second bottle, add more, and then we'll explain another common mistake people make as well. Next thing, guys, that we see quite often, people, guys, make another mistake. When you install your oil cap, make sure you get it tight. If you leave it loose, we had a case in an oil shop where one person forgot to tighten the oil cap and as a result it got loose. When it got loose, loose, sometimes you can catch it because the engine will lose vacuum and as a result you may get a code for a vacuum leak. So that could be, okay, we're lucky if you catch it on time. If you don't, you may start spraying oil and you may start losing oil and that can lock up the engine as well, guys. So uh, you need to make sure that you get it tight okay and where it's supposed to be okay perfect just like that now before you start the car you need to pull guys your dipstick now the dipstick once you pull it okay probably it will be too full why because the oil filter is empty now and we cannot feel it but when you start the car it will take some oil just make sure that you have enough okay it's between the minimum and the maximum at least when you start the vehicle so if we pull it now what it reads it's right above the maximum guys but that's perfectly fine what we're going to do now okay we're going to close it another one okay that you need to look for we're going to go inside the vehicle now you need to make sure you open your garage never start the car in the garage with the doors closed why because you can die now what we're going to do here guys okay here we're going to start the car look for oil pressure Okay, we have oil, uh, uh, specifically oil pressure gauge you may have or oil pressure light. That will be a red light, kind of looks like a tea kettle. So if you see it, guys, okay, for more than uh, three seconds, stop the car, something's wrong with the oil filter, you didn't add oil or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead, start it. Let's look for that. Do we have? No, we don't. I'm going to go ahead, okay. We have the four-wheel drive malfunction because of a weak battery. We had the door open for a long time. If, you, if I start it again, okay, do we have? No. Let it run, okay, if you don't have oil pressure light, let it run for probably, guys, about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. You can leave it even for a minute, make sure that everything fills up correctly and all that stuff. Just uh, keep eye on that light to make sure it doesn't pop up. Then we'll explain what else we need to do. Guys, let the engine sit for about three to five minutes. Why? Because that oil that you just added, okay, and you started the car, it's in the, right now, it's in the cylinder heads. So we need some time to come down. And what we need to do, after you wait about three to five minutes, you pull the dipstick again. And when we pull the dipstick, okay, we need to wipe it, okay, to make sure, okay, uh, that it's clean and we need to reinsert it again so we can get an accurate reading. Make sure you're on a leveled ground and make sure that the car is not jacked up or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead, add it now. Okay, let's see if we pull out what's going to happen. Okay, where is the oil level in our case? Okay, it's right at the max, guys. So we are perfect, guys. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Now. 
common mistake people make sometimes they don't get the dipstick uh, all the way in and that can cause vacuum leak and engine line on you see like this one it has an o-ring that can get stuck make sure it locks in place another thing make a label for instance okay for an oil change so you know when the next one is due guys otherwise okay you can forget now if you even if you don't drive that amount of miles or kilometers you need to change the oil every one year especially if the car has been sitting because it can accumulate moisture humidity gas inside of it and that's terrible guys it can destroy the engine so those are some of the most common mistakes we see here at the garage hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time